Mr. Kalkanish, good morning. Uh, now, we spoke to Mr. Samaseko earlier, just now, another uh, former member of the Preparatory Committee, or PREPCOM. He was very pleased with the way things have gone. Obviously, we had a successful conclusion yesterday. Uh, how was your experience within PREPCOM? Now the, the big international meetings are uh, usually prepared during the PREPCOMs, and, and in reality, the PREPCOM process is, is the one uh, of decision-making process. The, the, uh, the conferences themselves, they are more celebration and, and, and place of, of meeting. So therefore, uh, prep, PREPCOM is, is really the, the place where all the decisions are sort of uh, uh, negotiated and, and, and uh, uh, pre-decided before the, the arrival of ministers who just uh, uh, seal them in, in the solemn atmosphere during the conference. Were there any particular areas that uh, were, were difficult to overcome? No, it, 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 depends, it depends on, on the issue. Uh, the uh, United Nations system in general uh, practice so-called so consensus method, uh, which entails uh, lengthy negotiations until you find the, the uh, solution that more or less satisfies everybody <coughs> or on equal, in equal way do not satisfy everybody, so and that, then that, that is the right balance. So sometimes, and this, this is what I remember from, uh, from uh, the second uh, PREPCOM, of the PREPCOM of the second phase of Tunis uh, summit, uh, that uh, uh, two delegations who were really uh, negotiating the, the uh, uh, one particular question, uh, at the end of negotiations, both came to me and said, we're equally happy with the result. So, so that means that, that uh, diplomatic negotiations arrived to a right, uh, right uh, uh, conclusion when two rival, rival opinions uh, sort of found, found themselves in, in the final, uh, final outcome. And can you tell us what those issues were? No, that, that particular was on internet governance, which was uh, 2005, uh, the first time an internet, uh, so international community came together and, and discussed the, the internet governance issues. Of course, internet at that time was completely different. We're not talking, we're talking about uh, uh, several hundred million users, so today we're talking about three billion. Or t uh, at that time, we're talking about basic access. Uh, broadband was not even the term, I, I think at that time was not invented yet. And uh, so no, nevertheless, uh, already at that time, the issue uh, of internet governance was uh, very much on the top of the agenda of uh, many policy makers. And that was um, a very, very interesting experience. And did the speed of change make uh, your job difficult uh, as priorities were changing, as the technology was changing? Uh, that not, not, at, not at the moment, or not at that moment. Uh, the is issues we addressed uh, in 2005, particularly on, on internet governance, uh, uh, in internet governance area, were mostly linked uh, to management of critical internet resources. Today, uh, governments uh, and, and the internet users are more concerned about uh, different uh, different issues and, and uh, uh, the in, uh, internet infrastructure development, which was also a big topic in 2005, today is gradually moving uh, on the on the second uh, sort of uh, uh, row. Uh, but issues related to actual use of internet uh, forcefully come. Uh, uh, forefront and, and uh, uh, keeps uh, the policy makers really busy. Now as someone intimately involved in the WISIS process and also as a, an ambassador uh, for your country Latvia, what themes, which priorities would you like to see in next year's conference 2015? I, I think we need to uh, take a, a fairly balanced approach because we need to, to speak about uh, developmental aspect of use of ICTs, but equally we need uh, to speak about uh, freedom of expression, because we, we certainly see that uh, with the evolution of technology there is increasing attempts to uh, impose uh, limitations uh, to, uh, to the free flow of information and, and freedom of expression online. So uh, we equally need to maybe pay more attention to societal effects. Uh, of the technology uh, and understand 
how this technology impacts not only uh, uh, individuals, humans, but how they impact uh, societies and what kind of transformation societies go through uh, uh, with this technological uh, evolution and most importantly where all this is going. Abasta, thank you very much for being with us this morning.